John S. Fair, the Dexter Fletcher, my goodness, you could have thrown a lasso around the three of them, but doesn't that underline the amazing talent and quality in this room and indeed in Scottish film industry at the moment? Wonderful stuff. Well, as you know, the great directors can coax and tease out of the best performances from their cast. And so appropriately, we've arrived at the award for Best Actor in Film. To present it, a man who's about to add to his own long list of film credits in a new version of The Scottish Play. He's had a very busy 2014 with several highly praised television documentaries. Shh, I know you're getting hungry. I am too. But the wanderlust is on him right now as he follows in the footsteps of the great Tom Weir, although he's left his wee bobble hat backstage tonight. It's the wonderful David Heyman. <laughs> Hello. Isn't it wonderful to witness such a celebration of Scottish talent? Uh, let's look at the nominations. Hit me, Bruce. Yeah. Oh, my darling, I'm sorry. You sicken me. You repulse me. Can I make that any fucking plainer? I wasn't going to hurt you. I didn't mean it. We'll get through this. I promise you, we won't get through it. Stop it. I don't want to see her again. You mean Ailey? I don't want to hear her name. I don't want to have to think about her. Or her mother. Ever. She's my daughter. Don't you dare. This is my family. She's no part of it. I will not allow it. What, you want me just to cut her off? You hardly know her. No, I can't do that. It's not her fault. I think she's all you'll be left with. Who's that then? My mum. What? No, I'm just saying. Nice photo, isn't it? How's yours? Hmm? Your mum must be a bit worried about you. No, I ain't got one. This young actor is one of the greatest exponents of screen acting to come out of our country for a very long time. Uh, this award is richly deserved. The winner is James McAvoy. <laughs> Unspeakable things to you tonight. Um, if it wasn't for that man, I wouldn't be hoarding this man. Uh, he foolishly, because I was rubbish in it, gave me my first job uh, as an actor. And I was no very good in it. Uh, and I love you for doing that. Thank you. Um, right, what do I need to do? Thank you very much, Scottish BAFTA, very much for giving me this amazing award. Um, uh, when, when my agent phoned me up and said, you've been offered this part in filth, and I read it, I thought, wow, John, or 
fearless director and Irvin are singular and uh, we have to put a national protection order on him, writer, uh, were considering me for the role and offering me the role, I thought they must be scraping the bottom of the barrel because I'm not or I'm not obvious casting for this despicable sort of man. And uh, I thought they must have gone through every Sc other Scottish actor, and I thought, whatever. So I'll, I'll go and meet them, and I got the part, and the part was mine, and we went and made the film and whatever. We were making the film, and John says to me, no, we never offered you the part. Uh, your agent phoned us up and said, have you been considering James McAvoy? To which we quickly replied, no. <laughs> and, um, and so, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my super agent, Ruth Young, for getting me in the room. Um, because she saw what John and Irvin didn't initially see and what I couldn't see, and she got me in the room so that I could show them how brilliant I was. Um, I, mean, I don't mean that. No, seriously, I do. Uh, uh, I'd also like to thank... Who else did I need to thank, Anne-Marie? Oh yeah, I needed to thank uh, Lionsgate Films uh, and Distribution for really, honestly, you know, you can make a film that's worth loads of plaudits and all that kind of stuff, but you, you know, you can make that film and then 20 years later you can look back and nobody saw that film, and you never made two pound fifty on that film. Lionsgate advertised this film like it was fucking X Men, uh, and and you know, for them to take a film that is this dark, this harrowing, this controversially funny and this Scottish and sell it to the whole of Great Britain uh, thank you very much to them uh, because you need that uh, I need to thank and in fact I've got the order mixed up I wanted to thank uh, John first uh, John uh, Spaird who is an incredible adapter and writer but he is that very unique thing within the film industry he is brave, artistically so. So much so that I think he put his house on the line uh, making this film. That's bravery. Uh, and when then making the film, didn't go, wait a minute, my house is on the line here, I better walk the middle line. He pushed it all the way. And thank you as a partner who is described by Irvin Welsh as a method writer. Uh, he got into character right in this part. So there were two Bruces on this job, if you can... Imagine the harrowing nature of that. Um, need to thank Irvin. I've already talked about him. He's an amazing guy. Just he's unique on this planet. Uh, I need to thank my fellow actors who backed me up and did not judge me when I was doing the biggest overacting you've ever seen in your life, um, and backed me up by doing their own amazing overacting, not pointing any elbows. Shirley Henderson. Um, uh, I want to. Oh, I need to thank uh, Martin Compton for slipping me the tongue. Um, <laughs> That's a, that's a, that's a, a neddy sexual fantasy that, that I've been harboring ever since I saw him in Ken Loach's Sweet Sixteen. Um, and uh, to round it off, yeah, I need to thank my wife, Anne-Marie Duff, who is... She's awfully good, isn't she? Um, who's not only one of this country's finest actresses, she's also the best wife I've ever had. Um, she, uh, she put up and she puts up with my, my very dirty sense of humour day in, day out, but on this film it did reach new levels. And, and Bruce got in me and, and, and she put up with that. And thank you, Anne-Marie, for teaching me how to do what I do as well. Uh, and the last thing I'll say before letting you get to your dinner, because I realise it's a school night, is that... Uh, this is probably, I think, because we made this film about 14 years ago, it seems, uh, this is probably the last event I'll ever attend on behalf of Filth. And I feel quite emotional about it because as despicable as this man is and as, as horrible as the acts that he carries out are, Bruce Robertson is probably one of the most cherished men that I've ever uh, pretended to be. And I will miss him dearly. And, and if... That is the best part I ever get. If, that's, if I don't get a be part better than that, then I've had a really good innings. So thank you, Bruce. You're a dirty, dirty bastard.
Congratulations, James. He is the King of Scotland once again, and that means that this table realised that James will be buying the champagne. Same rules apply. Same rules apply.